Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I've been working on a new build. I'm really excited to show you. So new to the channel is this Mojave hybrid that I just got done building. So uh, essentially a M2C Mojave chassis and all the rest of the parts with the exception of the center braces and everything are from a Creighton or an Outcast. And I'm really digging this. So uh, as you guys, many of you might've seen my other videos on my V3 Creighton. I've been thinking about doing this for a while and the V3 Creighton kind of didn't serve a purpose anymore since I had my V4. Uh, so I too went ahead and pilfered the parts off that. So I'm still running the Max 6 in, or I still, I am running the Max 6 in here and the 1650 Easy Run KV, or uh, 1650 KV Easy Run motor. Uh, obviously M2C chassis braces front and rear, uh, M2C chassis, and I built this center structure of my own design to give it some, some roof protection for this Pro-Line uh, Jeep Gladiator body that I absolutely love. So went ahead and painted this, left the front windshield clear, and then the back, that little center window clear. So it worked out great. I'm super excited to run this. I was able to put the uh, Mojave side guards on here, kind of give it some side protection. And that worked out great. Still running the T-bone front bumper, um, HR or hot racing uh, rear diff and wheel hubs, both rear and front, uh, RPM arms. Uh, what else can I tell you? That's pretty much it. So let's give her a rip, see how she does out here today. But it's probably never gonna look this nice again. So get it in while you can. But I, I think this thing just looks badass on here. I really do, I really like it. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Soaking up the bumps. It's one bad looking Mamma Gemma. Still running my uh, 20 tooth pinion in here. Oh, shit. Oh, that was beautiful, boys. First flip. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. So, as far as diff fluid, I'm running uh, 500K in the center, 60 up front, and 30 in the rear. Worked out well. Beautiful. Always liked the Mojave chassis. Uh, so this was just a natural progression for me. rocks all the way back here. Oh, good thing I built that center structure to protect the uh, roof from landings. <laughs> uh, hilarious. Nice. Beautiful. So as you can see, I did a two, two color paint job. Kept the windows black, the beds black. Everything else is gunmetal gray. Really like it. Turned out well. Nice. Still running the Savox 1210 SG servo in there. Uh, really liking that. Still running backflips on here. I was thinking about doing the uh, the 4S backflip LPs, but I can't find them anywhere. So if you guys know of anywhere I can pick up a set, pick up a set, let me know. Oh, 
Oh, I hope that was close, boys. <laughs> yeah. She's just got torque for it. Just loads of power. I'm really liking this, guys. Oh, LVC. LVC, boys. That's all she's got. <laughs> Man, she looks awesome. Guys, that's going to call it for me today. Looks like the body came off a little bit here. So, she did great. This rig, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, like I said, it, it just made sense for me to, to pick up a different platform since I already had the V4 Creighton. And uh, I got a real good friend of mine. He's going to take the uh, M2C chassis. I've been beating on that thing for my V3 Creighton. Uh, I've been beating on that V3 for, I don't know, a year and a half now. And that M2C chassis has got a couple little dings on it, but it's still straight as an arrow. So uh, hats off to Mitch Looper on that. So with that, guys, that'll be it for, for this video. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you do, please like and subscribe. Hope everybody's being safe. And uh, we'll catch you on the next time. Elrod Bash and RC out.